If you're ready to create a symmetrical logo using Adobe Illustrator, then let's dive right in. Don't worry if you're new to designing as we'll guide you through the steps. Let's jump right in and get started. We need to draw some guidelines and we need a ruler for it. The first way to access the ruler is by pressing Ctrl and R. The second way is to go to the menu bar, click on View, then select Ruler and choose Show Rulers. Now we can add some guideline like this. Okay, now we need to draw a circle. First, go to the Toolbar tab and select the Polygon tool. Next, where these two guidelines intersect, press Shift and Alt, and draw a circle like this. I want to remove the fill from this circle. To achieve that, when I click on the Non option here, you will see the circle fill being removed. Now, let's make this circle a guide. The shortcut for that is to press Ctrl and 5. Alternatively, you can go to the View tab of the menu bar, select Guide from the Guide section, and click on the Make Guides option. This will ensure that your circle has become the guide. Now select the Line Segment tool. After that, press Shift and draw a line like this. Now, we need to rotate this line by 54 degrees. To do that, we go to the Rotate tool in the toolbar while this line is selected. Select the Rotate tool and click here while holding the Alt key. Now, type 54 in this box. Don't forget that we don't want to copy, so click the OK button here. Now, I want to create a reflected copy of this line. To do that, I'll select the Reflect tool from the toolbar. Then, I'll press the Alt key and click here, just like before. Here, I'll choose the Vertical option to create a reflection along the vertical axis. Since I want a copy of this reflected line, I'll click the Copy button. Now these two lines are separate. To join them, use the Direct Selection tool to select the two points. Right-click and choose the Join option from the menu that appears. The two lines have now been joined. Now I want to create copies of these two joined lines, rotating them around this circle. To do that, after selecting these two lines, I'll go to the toolbar and choose the Rotate tool. Then, right in the middle of the circle, I'll click while holding the Alt key. In the tab that appears, I'll set the angle to 72 degrees and click the Copy button. Now, press Ctrl and D to duplicate the copying movement. Press this three times. Now we need to get the Join tool. Sometimes you may not see the Join tool in your toolbar. If that is the case, go to the three dots at the bottom of your toolbar and click on them. From the options at the top of this menu, the one you may have selected could be Basic. In that case, select the option called Advanced, and then you will be able to find the Join Tool option. Now select the Join Tool. To switch back to the Selection Tool, press Alt while in the Join Tool. When you release Alt, you will switch back to the previous tool, which is the Join Tool. Next, select these two intersecting lines and delete this part. Repeat this process for all of them. Now select the shape formed like this star and press Ctrl and 5 to make it a guide. Now we need to draw a box like this. Go to the toolbar and select the rectangle tool. Draw a box like this starting from the top of this star. Now reduce the height of this drawn box. After that, press Alt and take a copy, then move that copy up with Shift until it reaches the top of the star. Now make sure that the space you take here is the same as the space in your design. Now go to the toolbar and select the Direct Selection tool. Use it to adjust the box below and match its shape with that of the star. Now, apply a color of your choice to this shape. Next. Select these two boxes and go to the toolbar to access the Rotate tool. Press Alt and select the middle point here. In the box that just appeared, type an angle of 72 degrees and click the Copy button. Now you need to copy this movement. For that, press Ctrl and D three times. Now select all these shapes and navigate to the Pathfinder window. If the Pathfinder window is not visible, Access it by going to the Window tab in the Menu bar, then selecting the Pathfinder option from the menu that appears. This will open the Pathfinder window. 
Once the shape is selected, choose the first option from the Shape Mode selection in the Pathfinder window. Now go to the toolbar and select the Polygon tool. Press Shift and Alt, then draw a 5 feet polygon from the middle point. Now select the polygon and choose the Reflection tool from the toolbar. Next, select the middle of the polygon while holding Alt. In the window that appears, select the Horizontal option and click OK. If you find it difficult to grasp the polygon, you can also color it to your liking. Now, select all of these objects and right-click. From the menu that appears, choose the Make Clipping Mask option. OK, now everything is done. Next, go to the View tab in the menu bar and select the Guides section. From the menu that appears, select Clear Guides to remove the guidelines from the artboard. Well then, we finished the symmetrical logo in Illustrator. Until next time, keep creating with Illustrator and don't forget to subscribe.